What's going on guys? My name's Ace. Welcome to the Gaming Hookup and welcome to another edition of News Hookup. In today's video, I want to talk about Logan Paul. If you don't know who he is, he's one of the biggest YouTubers, most popular ones on YouTube, hands down, at this time. Now, he posted a video during his trip in Japan at the suicide camp. In the video, he shows a dead body. What he's getting heat about is not only the dead body being shown, he was laughing after they seen the dead body. Okay, Now, it doesn't really seem like he was laughing about the dead body. We're going to watch his response to suicide and what he thinks about suicide. And I'm going to give you my opinion on whether he's, you know, being down to earth about it and if he really means what he's saying or if he's full of shit. Now, we're also going to watch the part where he laughs. If you want to see the full video, you can find it on Google, you know, somewhere on YouTube, it's reposted. I'm not going to post the video here because it does violate terms of service on YouTube and channels are receiving strikes. Some of them are being deleted for showing this video. That brings up another question. What should happen to Logan Paul? You know, should he be disciplined for posting this video on YouTube? A lot of people are saying, you know, delete his channel, get rid of him. Now, YouTube is like a dream career for tons of people, including a majority of his audience, which are kids. So why would he post this video? All right, so if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't heard nothing about this story, a quick rundown, like I said at the beginning of the video, he was in Japan. He was going to do a camp uh, site at the suicide camp is what it's called because of how many suicides are committed at this camp. And it was supposed to be about ghosts. They park at the parking lot. As soon as they go down to the campsite, literally about 30, 40 feet from the parking lot, he sees a dead body. It gets caught on video. Now, this guy makes a ton of money on YouTube. He's a millionaire, and he has a huge editing crew, guys. What that means, his eyes aren't the only one. His only two eyes, obviously, aren't the only eyes that are seeing the video before it's being put up on YouTube. All the editing that's done, someone else gives their input and says, hey, we should take this out. We should put this in. We should redo this part. So he had probably people telling him, hey, you shouldn't put this up. So that makes you question, was it set up? Is it real? He has enough money to go out there and set up this dead body, a decoy, like a Hollywood body, and then get the video footage and then talk about suicide awareness, get tons of views. Now, they're also the other side that I'm sure the editors told him, and YouTube probably talked to him, which I'll get into that in a minute. The other side of it is the controversy. What's the upside of controversy? He's going to get more followers. He's going to get more people you know, on Twitter, YouTube. He's going to get more ad revenue. People are going to buy his merchandise. So there is an upside to this controversy. Let's go in and watch the portion after they see the dead body. He talks about suicide awareness. And you know, let's see, you know, was he being really uh, truthful and honest? Or in your opinion, in my opinion, we're going to react to it at the end of the video. Was this whole thing set up to get more views and sell more merchandise and so on and so on? All right, so we're going to go ahead and play the portion after they see the dead body and they bring some park officer over. So he's going to talk about suicide awareness. And the reason why I want to play this part, plus we're going to play the part where he's laughing about it and see if he was laughing about the suicide or... You know, regardless, it was very unnecessary of him not to edit that part out. It makes him look like a total jerk. But let's go ahead and play this portion where they talk about suicide awareness. And do you think they really meant what they were saying? Or is this just a, uh, a ploy to get more views and sell more merchandise? I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section below. At the end of the video, if you want to stick around, I'm going to give you my opinion about the situation in full detail. Like, Yo, this is like, crazy, dude. Pulse, no, this isn't f***ing real, bro. You gotta call police. Call the police, bro. Yeah. Okay, a lot of things going through my mind. Um, this is a first for me. This is definitely a first for me. This, this literally probably just happened. Um, you saying it literally just, just happened. I, I don't, how would you know that? I, I'm so sorry about this, Logan. This was supposed to be fun vlog. Now, do you say I'm sorry, Logan or Low Gang? I, I don't know. I don't know. This. It seems like he's pretty uh, shooken up. I don't know. Happened, everything. Obviously, um, and now experiencing it in real life and firsthand. Suicide is not a joke. Depression. No, it's not. Mental illnesses are not, are not a joke. In no nope. way. We came here with an intent to focus on the haunted aspect of the forest. Now, real quick, let me just pause it real quick. This just became... 
He says they came there because they're going on the talk about the hunting, the haunting, not hunting, haunting aspect or hunting for basically footage is what they were doing. They wanted to get views. That's why you're going to a suicide camp. I mean, let's let's be honest. But what I want to point out though is he says he talks about you know it's supposed to be about the haunting and you know this was a uh, you know they didn't think this was going to happen. But if you look at their faces, my opinion. He seems shooken up. You know, he is an actor at the end of the day. He's taking acting classes. He's, you know, been in, you know, certain things where he's acted. So he knows how to act. The guy in the back with the, with the gray beanie, he doesn't really seem like he's shooken up. If you just seen a dead body, someone that committed suicide, you know, you'd be crying. You'd be possibly shaking. You know, people react differently, but he doesn't really seem like he cares. Go ahead and continue, though. Let's see very real and obviously a lot of people are going through a lot of shit in their lives and we, it, ju we just want you guys true. to know that if you're going through anything like we're here for you we're here for you this is the guy i'm talking you. about he there doesn't are people out there that people, care for you exactly. we just want you guys to know that and remember that suicide is not the answer guys there are people that love you and care for you like i said now this guy in the back next to the guy with the beanie i don't know who it is i don't really watch their videos why he keeps smirking you know uh, this isn't any kind of situation or time to be smirking. You know, he keeps looking at the girl, and he kind of had a smirk a couple of times. Right, so let me go back and show you guys. What are we at? Back to like 52. Like right here. Let me go back. Watch. He looks at her. Look, there are people out there Look, that care for you. We just want you guys to know that and remember that. Suicide is not. <sighs> I don't know if it was a smirk. Yeah, see, he smirks right there. He smirks like, like, okay. Way too scarily real. Mm. About this, the parking lot is right there, dude. Bam! It's literally right. Bam! There. That's what I wanted to stop right there. And then we'll go to the part where he laughs. He says the parking lot's literally right there. So he points at it's really close. I mean, you probably got to paid more money to get the closest campsite, closest to the parking lot. What's the likeliness where you're going to get footage? Right? You you know you're in Japan. You're spending a ton of money. You're trying to get vlogs done. At the end of the day, his channel, it's a business. He's in this for the money, guys. He, you know, and his apology said, I get views no matter what. But this whole point of doing this vlog in Japan and doing the haunting episode uh, was to get views and make money. Okay. He says he didn't monetize this video and then it ended up getting deleted or removed. I'm not sure which one, you know, I think he might have removed it on his own. Because I think YouTube gave him the thumbs up, which we'll talk about in a minute. All right, now we're going to fast forward to the part where he's laughing about the suicide that happened. He says it looks like it just happened moments ago. And in the comment section below, let me know, do you guys think he's being insensitive and laughing about the suicide or was it something else? Now, my opinion, it still should have been edited out regardless. But what it shows me is that it was possibly set up and this was a, it was like a decoy to show that he's able to act and stuff like that, which may come out in the future. Let's go ahead and watch this part and react to him laughing about the situation. That's what everybody has everybody really, really upset, guys. Right there. Like, mm -hmm. guys, we're 100 yards away from the parking lot. I don't, I don't feel very good. Yeah, I don't feel good. Well, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? Okay, so right here, he says, I don't feel very good. The guy in the background is probably uh, one of his editors, his video camera guy. I don't know. I don't know how many people were behind that camera, you know, holding lights and stuff and all that fancy mumbo jumbo shit that he has and you gotta remember this guy's a millionaire guys i mean everything that goes into his videos is thought out edited process ran by people at youtube and google now he just asked the guy because he doesn't feel good he goes well you never been next to a dead guy so he makes a joke i guess which people react differently when you're in a stressful situation or a scary situation everybody acts differently and they, you know, with that being said, if this is real, if it wasn't set up, he made a joke to lighten up the situation. Maybe they're waiting for the police. They probably don't want to leave the scene, which potentially is a crime. We don't know if he did commit suicide. We don't know anything about this situation. Neither does he if it's a real situation. No. He's laughing after he said that. <laughs> like we joke about seeing things in here and like it was all it was gonna be a joke. Yeah. yeah. Look at they're all laughing. Okay. <laughs> Why did it become so real? Let me go back to like eight. 
<laughs> you don't, okay. Parking lot's right there. Let's watch it again. Let's let's get it with no interruptions. Well, you never you ever stand next to a dead guy? No. I just don't like we joke about Yo, it I don't know, man. If that if this is real, bro, and wow, 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 wow. If this is real and he really just seen a dead body, someone that committed suicide and then made that joke, now that I watch it without talking and and I, I don't know. Like I would, I'm disgusted, really, to be honest with you. If if it's not a setup, which even if it was, his editor should have said, "Hey, we got to take this part out. This does not sound good. We're putting it off as a real situation here. We want to talk about suicide and and bring suicide awareness to teenagers and your young viewers. They should have edited this laughing part out. This guy with the the little pretty hairdo to the right of him, uh, he doesn't look sincere at all." The whole situation is a joke to him. And again, I don't know. I'd have to say this is set up, guys. I, I can't believe someone's this disgusting of an individual that they would laugh about a dead body and laugh about someone that just killed herself, man. Seeing things in here and like... It was and look all, at her. It was gonna be a joke. Yeah. Oh, it was gonna be a joke. It was all gonna be a joke. <laughs> Why did it become so real? This is the, this is the thing. This is no. the thing that is now in our lives. We just experienced. What the f*** is going on? Why is she ha la look at she like she can't hold in her laugh? Hold on, look at her face. Watch. Be a joke. <laughs> Why did it become so real? This is, the, this is the thing. Look at her. This, this is the thing that is now in our lives. We just experienced. She literally cannot stop laughing. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta say this is fake. That's the outcome of my opinion. This is fake. The whole situation was a controversial uh, decoy for something else. Uh, he's gonna get probably five, ten million more subscribers because of this situation, but it was definitely fake, definitely set up. There's no way that someone would laugh like that after they just seen a dead body. I mean, look at her face; it just it says it all. Uh, he's just you know the guy in the middle now. He he has the silliest, dumbest look it's looking look on his face ever. I'm lost for words, guys. Now, as soon as he posted this video, it gets tons of views uh, right away. It was getting you know big YouTubers. Uh, some actors, actresses were tweeting about it, and it goes on the YouTube top trending list. Now, according to several large YouTubers and inside sources, the top trending list is handpicked by people at YouTube. So you also got to remember what I said. He has a huge editing crew, and he has direct contacts with YouTube. So several people give input about what videos can go up and what videos cannot go up. So you got to ask yourself, was this all planned? I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comment section below. Let me know. So after watching the video, the portion of the video, I should say, after they seen the dead body, I would have to say, let me take that out because we're not listening to no more of that bullshit. I'd have to say that it was definitely 100% without a doubt in my mind that this was a setup for controversy. Now, you're probably asking, them, why would he do that? That's stupid. People hate him now. Well, he was already kind of hated, to be honest with you. And now he's probably going to get five or 10 million more subscribers. He's going to sell more merchandise. You know, people like dark comedy. He's probably going to come out and admit probably in the next couple of days it was all a setup uh, that he had his, you know, his crew out there, you know, setting up the, the suicide scene. Uh, the, the, the guy, the camp officer, was probably an actor as well. His English was amazing. Uh, you know, Anybody, a normal person, after they see a dead body, someone that committed suicide, would not keep recording, you know, per se. You may record, you know, to watch it back, but you wouldn't put it on your on your uh, website in his uh, situation, uh, his YouTube channel, with over 15 million subscribers. There's no way. That being said, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what your opinion is. If you want to watch the full video, just go on YouTube. There's Again, there's tons of people that reposted it. I'm not putting it up. Uh, myself and Recon, we follow the terms of service here at Gaming Hookup. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. I really appreciate everybody that took the time to view the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe, turn post notifications on so you never miss a stream or a video. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.